Alright, the next project that I'm going to be working on is these Infinity speakers. I'll give you the pro give you the model number later. I'm not sure what they are right offhand. I took the grill off of one to kind of show you. They're in really good shape other than the uh, this laminated crap. Now this speaker is actually perfect. This speaker and I'm not going to try to, f I hate this stuff. So what I'm going to do is, this is my next project is, if I don't trip over the dog, is to strip this down. And I'm not going to completely paint the speaker, but I went and bought me some supplies. Got me some paint here. This is a uh, satin rolling surf it is just poured down today it's like a monsoon you know we either go with no rain or a monsoon so i got me some supplies here kind of make this a quick little video so i'm going to mask them up the parts that i'm not going to paint and i don't know what i'm going to do with them i may sell these speakers i may get rid of them i may trade them for some records or something i'm not sure but I figured I'd go ahead and spend a little extra money into them and make them look a little better. I mean, they're in good shape. I mean, just the pl that sticker shit is coming off. So, you know, it's Saturday, raining. This way, give me something to do. She's, it's the 4th of July. We got the wildfire. She smells that wildfire smoke. And she just loses her mind. This is what she does. She's walking around, walking around in circles, coming in between my legs. She's having a meltdown because it's the 4th of July. I actually got some medicine from the vet. So later on today, I'll give her some. I'll lock her up in the house and she'll just pass out. But I hate to do that to her. She can't really go out and play today either because... She's going to get wet. And she will go out and play in the rain. So I don't care if she does and gets wet. It is what it is. So this is the next project. I'm not going to waste too much of your time with this. I'll just kind of show you what I'm working on this weekend. Strip this crap off. Man, I hate this stuff. I would much rather have paint on here than, than that crap. Paint, it's, you know, this stuff is just so cheap. It's like, that's why they put it on. It's just dirt cheap sand this down and put some beautiful paint on there be way better So it's all pretty easy. These are uh, Infinity Primus 250s. Alright, she's stripped down. I've got her uh, mask up. Just use some newspaper there. Kind of give you an idea. This is all going to be black still. Black silver with the woofers. And then in the back, it's the same thing. It's, I'm going to leave the black on here. And then all of this is going to be blue. So, kind of give you a little sneak peek real quick. Okay, I wanted to just show you guys something. This is the, I'm going to hit it this lightly with the primer. And we're not shooting for perfection here. Okay, just, if you ever do a project like this, it's okay if it's not perfect, okay? I'm just hitting it lightly with the primer. I'm mainly focused on the front here because that's what everybody's going to see. So I kind of hit it a little harder in the front, but the sides I'm not worried about. The paint nowadays is really good. And uh, can't really see back here. The light's not very good. But I just wanted to 
don't worry about perfection if you do something like this. This is customized, you know, so don't expect it to be perfect. If there's like texture and things like that on there, man, that's awesome. Leave it on there. You know, it gives it character. So I just wanted to show you that. That's what it that's all the primer I'm putting on it. That's it. And then we're gonna hit it with the paint. I love the texture on this. See how I was almost bought some textured paint. I almost did a sponge. But I didn't sand this and I didn't sand it on purpose because I wanted some texture. And man, I tell you what, it turned out absolutely beautiful. I think it's going to get a little darker, hopefully. Because that's kind of what I was shooting for. And it's still a little on the light side, so it's still drying. So. Yeah, give me another little shot of the texture. See the texture? I love that, man. I love it has this really natural texture to it instead of being smooth and however it was you know i didn't sand it i was going to sand it and i was like nope i haven't done the other speaker yet it's it's sitting over there and uh i'm going to do a, a comparison you know when this one's done i'll have it sit next to the other speaker absolutely love it Well, I love the blue, but I'm not sure if that black is working. It looks a lot better with the grill on. But that's it compared to before and after. Definitely better with the blue, but this black, I'm not sure about this black. It hasn't, I don't know, it's not growing on me. So I don't know, I'm gonna give it a few minutes see how I feel about it but I don't know don't know love the blue though there it is with the grill on looks so much better with the grill so that's why I'm struggling it's like if I was to paint the black then it's going to conflict with the grill so I might just leave it like it is, just blue and black, because the grill, the way it covers the front, it it actually looks a lot better, I think. I love the blue though. I just think that's that's just it's just better. I like it that it's not perfect. It just looks like it has way more character than these freaking things you could buy at Best Buy. You know what I'm saying? So you're not gonna buy something like this <laughs> with this type of character at Best Buy. Now I'm gonna clean the grills. They're a little dusty as you can see, but that, that comes right off real easy. So I'll probably just leave them like that. With the grills, they, they actually work pretty good with the grills. And like I said, I probably won't even keep them anyway. I don't know why I'm sitting here debating it so hard. Just get them done and find somebody out there that'll love them and use them all right we're going to get crazy <laughs> i was worried about losing these emblems i was able to pop the emblem off so we're going to get rid of this black so i'm not exactly sure how how i'm going to do it yet but i've got some ideas So, I'll keep you posted after I figure it out. I just kind of went crazy here with this different color paints. Stencil and, like I said, some different paint here. And I'm just, I'm just playing around, man. I don't even care. You know, I have nothing in this, you know, for very little money and then. I think they look horrible. That black wasn't working, so I taped it back up, man, and we're getting, we're going a little hog wild with it. You know, the fun thing is about these is trying to get them to match the other speakers. 
I don't even care about that. But yeah. Look at Daisy. It's the 4th of July, baby. Hey, Daisy. Daisy. You doing okay? She ain't doing okay. Poor little thing. But anyway, yeah. Off we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Much better. Much better. I put a little color. Faded it. Bled it. Looks so much better with some color. Instead of just that black. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now I just got to do that speaker. I won't bore you with the time. I can do it. <laughs> but yeah, man, this is really freaking cool. I love it. I put the Infinity logo back on. Yeah. Somebody hopefully will really enjoy these speakers. It's been fun. Just having fun, man. That's all I'm doing, man. I got... I got probably 20 bucks in the speakers and probably not even that much and then paint and a lot of that paint I already had over there so alrighty ladies and gentlemen this is kind of the the insanity going on in the the garage bed customizing I think it looks way better I love that blue I wish it was a little darker but you know whatever you know, it's just weird. It's, it says, it says that it's going to, you can see the cap is even darker. A little bit dark, but it's okay. It's okay. It's cool. Somebody's going to love them, I hope. Thanks for hanging out.